gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Hope you had death here with you. This is the September 11th special. Sorry, I got all kind of choked up. Um, thanks for tuning in. Got some great uh, guys coming out tonight. Yet again, I'm super excited to have everybody out. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful evening. We're going to get on right on down to this. Guest commentator this evening, as always, partner in crime, man with the plan. Dis, how you doing, bud? I'm doing fantastic, Hells. Happy to be here, and uh, can't wait to get these fights rolling tonight. Hell yeah. Moderating this chaotic night, um, keeping these both these great teams under under the under the iron fist what up they're legit what's up guys all righty well guys as we all see here tanks going up here um we'll go through tanks here very shortly yet again it is 9 11. kind of crazy some kids have been born would never never experienced what a lot of us went through that day Across the entire United States, a lot of people were felt. And of course, all, as always, um, our hearts go out to those guys now. They're still living with that. People coming down with lung cancer. Um, people being, uh, it's just its just bad all the way around. Um, there were 412 emergency workers. Got to show great love out there to the EM, EMTs. Fire department, police department. Gotta love all those people. And a grand total, 2,996 people were killed. That includes the uh, crazy motherfuckers that were on the airplane that started the whole shit. So, but we're gonna get serious. Tanks are going legit. This, take it over. You guys got mics. Thanks, uh, Hells, and thanks for uh, taking the time out of tonight's. Uh uh, show to uh, commemorate and think back and remember. I think that's really important. Uh, like you said, there are a lot of young people out there today that uh, don't know. So it's uh, important that the rest of us do uh, take a minute to remember. Um, but we're going to get rolling here with some uh, tanking action. We have B-Wise, which I believe stands for Beyond Wisdom, taking on Second Panzer. And tonight, First map is going to be Berlin, as you can see. Uh, this is Second Panzer's um, map, and I believe that they are going to be uh, spawning in the uh, in the north on this one. And we got tanks being thrown up. Uh, in addition to tanks going up, we got about uh, 20 seconds left, so we'll go through tank lineups uh, once they're ready. To, uh, once we go to battle. Here, I could do B-wise really fast, and then I'll let everybody cut it. How about yeah, that? knock it out. Unbarred mood coming in there in the 183 with War Turbo. Uh, Rocky to bed and Hoydra both in bat chats. Uh, Nitro and IS-7 dig in the super conk with Husker and Gore in the 113. Cool, cool. Like with most of our battles on um, Berlin, uh, kind of we're looking at uh, if teams decide to take that that 9-0 line push with a bunch of heavies, or do they have something a little more unique planned? I know Second Panzer has a really good strat on this that I saw during GTL. I'm not going to say what it is, but let's see if they uh, pull that one out of their hat. B-wise is uh, looks. Kind of like a new team assembled. Uh, a lot of players from a lot of different teams, but uh, quite a bit of talent on that team. Um, over on the second uh, PD side, we have Militia and an E4 along with Odin, Silver Fox, and King Donkey and IS-7s, two T-57s with Vikings and External Rain, and finally two Super Conks, Kinga and Feline Goose. Time to go to battle. Right, uh, so the B-Wise guys, these would be the one, these guys were all grouped together during the Clan Wars tournament, uh, the, the World at War, they were NFTG. Yes. Teams. Got it. Okay. Like Before I said, a lot of familiar names. Uh, notice they're grouping up on that three line push. So teams are rotating like a clock <laughs> around this map right now.
Now this can get a little dangerous for second panzer if they don't sniff this out and start taking shots in the side. And sure enough, second panzers is going right with that uh, strat that I've seen them run before where they push those two tanks into that center courtyard. And this time they're uh, double downing on that, bringing in four tanks, two Super Conquerors and two T-57. That is a lot of EPM right there. Well, it looks like right now, EY is well, kind of content, pushing across the three lines, spreading it out. Um, not really... They got the cap cut. They got the cap covered. Right. You can't really push that line, that EF line that they're on, especially with those two uh, E4. Uh, or, uh, sorry, the, the FDs back there. Now we're starting to get some action. We got some stuff spotted up here. Oh, we, there we go. More information's coming in suit for them. Rotate. This is bat chat on the A line. It's going to be interesting. What uh, Hydra. Uh, is able to do if he can get in behind one of these super conquerors or t57 and drop a clip that could be a, a little bit of a game changer and turn some turrets exactly what he's going to do I'm looking right down there there you go husker and dig using there those, we go those dead tanks bat trats dropping it in three shots connected Or full clip connected by the bat chat. Really good work right there. Now watch King Donkey is on a rotate. I don't know if they know him, but notice how they... B-Wise is really smart here, how they have their two bat chats flanked out wide on the K and the A line. Um, King Donkey could eat a clip from this other bat chat back here if he is not careful. Uh, Rocky to bed is now... Got the intel, and he's moving in. Donkey Team Donkeys. He's a... Let's see if he can angle. He's a... One. Two. Three. Oh, four, returned it. Five. Six. We only there connected is. two shots there. Yeah. Is the IS-7 doing its work, right? Right. Uh, yet again, IS-7 showing APCR, bat chat. Eh, I'm not so worried. Eh, eh, eh. Now notice this. Look at the other side. This is a fantastic match right now. Uh, second Panzer down the D line now is dropping an IS-7 and a T-57 on the reverse flank uh, going after Digital Nitro. Nice pull on the second Panzer, guys. I'd still be worried about this Death Star that now is lurking around the backside. All right, Rocky to bed's going to come in here. He's like, all right, I'll make sure to get you finally finished. But yeah. Down goes the other bat chat. Hydra goes down. Uh, a good kill there. Watch this uh, Death Star lurking around the backside. External rain is going to eat one right in the side, and that could be it. Oh, 810. Ooh, only 810. Now... If Rain can get his tracks back on, he's going to be reloaded before that bat chat, and he could dump a whole clip. I mean, before that a Death Star, he could dump a whole clip on that. Oh, but can he make up the difference? This is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. I'm going to put the camera right here. Yeah. Yep. Here he goes. One. Bounces two. Bounces. Oh, take your time. Take your time. Oh, his Spidey sense. I think he lit. senses it. Yep. His yeah, spidey, senses spidey, spidey sense went off. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Oh, 14. Oh. Dirt, but it, unfortunately, the rest of the team has now died. And the, the team fell died. apart. Yeah. Sometimes it's fun to watch those 1v1 engagements. But right. uh, yes, we second Panzer did a great job just coming in. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's good streaming. You know, and I think the key was is that second Panzer was just able to apply a double flank and pressure down the middle. And really moving. divide the. They, they kept moving. They didn't sit content. By sat there, other than their bat chats, and that just wasn't enough. They were kind of trapped, and um, 
Yeah, second Panzer just did a good job closing in. GG's to them. Alright, you want to go ahead and go down some damage? Sure, I'll go ahead and take B-Wise, and you can take Second Panzer. Uh, coming up there first uh, is uh, it's Gore, uh, 1300 into 113. The Bat Chats did really nice work, both Hydra and Rocky to Bed, uh, with uh, almost 3K and then another uh, 2300. Uh, other notables right there is also uh, Unbarred Moon uh, in his Death Star uh, with almost 3K. All righty. For the second PD side, here we go. King, 16 port. Rain coming in there with his T57 Heavy, 19, or 1895. King Donkey, 1963, coming in his IS7, blocking 1570. Nice going. <laughs> Eli Goose coming in there with the 2K, but with the three kills. Wow. Private Militia coming in there in his E4, 36, 84, two kills. Odin is it and his E4 2420. Vikings and the other 57 heavy did end up blocking 1180 while throwing down 1569. And then Wolf coming in there with the 1942 with the 890 blocked. GG's guys. Really a nice damage spread across the board, yeah. Right. Good job. So let's see on this next uh, one. This again is is uh, second PD's map choice. Let's see if um, uh, Beyond Wisdom this time comes out a little bit more aggressive. I did like what they were doing with their bat chats. I think they needed to make a commitment to one side or the other instead of allowing themselves to get uh, double flanked. Legit, thank you for the subscribe, you crazy maniac. You're in here with the party. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Shameless self promotion. We'll self plug, it. self plug. <laughs> four months, four months streak. Mm hmm. everybody and got to see the uh 9-11 intro if you didn't get to see it remember go check us out on youtube wednesday night fights <laughs> teams on the clock yeah so be wise here um this is kind of crazy so hydra big or Unbarred Moon were all once back in the day 12 pans. Huh. And then War Turbo. Interesting. <laughs> will rock you to bed. Packer um, were all part of. Um, give me two seconds. I'll pull up their logo. That's how I remember everybody. Is their logos. <laughs> I know it is that horrible. I'm sorry. No. Um, you're probably watching. You're probably gonna yell at me. Hey, there's a lot of clans to remember, man. It's not that easy. <laughs> right, and then they change names and change teams. But yeah, they were once. Oh yeah. Iron, not iron. Um. I don't know. I'll talk to him about it any which way. Um. Sure. But, but yeah, and then go ahead and go through uh, the second PD. Okay, um, Private Militia and Odin coming out E4, Donkey Wolf, IS7, Vikings, Rain, 57s, Goose, and Kinga Super Comps. Go ahead, Dale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we probably end up going, I think we got like less than five seconds, and we're going to be going to battle, so I'll grab them when we start uh, with the BY's lineup as we go to Berlin. Second round. Second Panzer up uh, one nothing. Uh, good win for them. I expect B Wise to be more aggressive on this time around. Either you, they're legit. 
Yeah. Just talking in the chat. <laughs> Didn't know if you want to do some commentary here. I'm all, I'll let you guys talk for a little bit. All right, over on the BY side, we're bringing out two TDs, War Turbo in the E4 and Unbarred Moon in the Death Star. We got the double IS-7s with Rocky to Bed and Digital Nitro, 705A by Warpacker, two Super Conks by Dig and Husker, and Hydra in the 5A. I have a good feeling what second PD is going to do, because again, uh, got to watch them in GTL, and they were very good on this map. Yeah, Not surprised were. that they picked it as their uh, as their map of choice. They do. They tend to run more of a spread along the G line, just like they did on the D line, uh, with a little bit of bait. Uh, but it works really well, and you can see that B-Wise has gone more with the kind of maybe what you'd call more the meta, meta. of loading up the 9, yes, and loading up that 9-0. See here, Odin going to take the expedited route. Yes, he is. Watching the oh, Here's e where he, yeah. As I say, here's where Second PD does a really, uh, where I really like their tactics is look at this flank running right now. Uh, there's a lot of DP, uh, DPM right here uh, with that super conk burst damage with the 57 coming on. If they can take War Turbo out from behind, right. he just took that a big is hit going from the to be painful. Exactly. Ray needs to get that cannon up there singing before that E4 spins. Oh, mm -hmm. too late. Here we go. Can he get the clip off before someone takes a big hit? One shot. He's a one shot. Ooh, oh, good Conk. shooting there. Hawk took it. Hawk will go down. 57 is going to go on his reload. He's taking the damage, Conk, so the Conk sits yeah, there and just the face hug. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. a he, brilliant he line, play. Yeah, thank you for noticing that. That was genius, and uh, he allowed his P-57 to get reloaded, and he should now finish the 5A. Oh, he's on reload, so he must have bounced one shot. Over on the other side of the action, we got a nice little uh, scrum going on here. Uh, looks like B Wise is trying to send that counter flank around the backside on Silver Wolf. Wolf Silver, should I say. And he goes down. That was really nice by B Wise. Now they need to rotate back or either get behind and put some pressure on Odin, who is in full health in his E4. That's a dangerous tank at this time in the game. Take Moon should go away. down right here. Into a fully reloaded 57 heavy. That did not yeah, feel it good. Feels bad, man. Oh, Unbarred Moon just took down uh, External. Still a pretty tight game. Numbers advantage and hit points are still in favor of Second PD. Looks like they should clean it up here pretty quick. Then what am I saying? It is an IS-7, and that can take a hell of a long time. Let's see. Right? <laughs> E4 bounce, IS-7 bounce, super comp bounce. Yeah. Right as I say, yeah, I should be able to clean this up pretty quickly. And here we are for there another minute. <laughs> watching, watching people clink it off an IS-7 hole. I guess uh, great never says, fails. Great says those guys are from Odin. 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 Yes, ah, Odin. Odin. Yeah. O it was O-D-U-M. That's crazy. Yep, that was it. O-D-I-U-M.
trying to read all the, <laughs> all the comments and stuff. Yeah, I'll, 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 yeah you go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. Um, oh, Hoydra coming in there to 27.42. Uh, blocking 25.40. Unburned Moon coming in 35.72 and a kill. Um, he did block uh, 400. Husker with 12. Dig with 13. Nitro coming in there with uh, 23.60 blocked and his eye is 7 while also throwing up 14.74 with 2 kills and Rocky to bed and I is, that eye is 7 GG's <laughs> great job 1 kill 34.90 in damage but blocking 5,790 GG's going man, to what Rocky. a game man Rocky he was doing work uh, over on the second uh, PD side. Uh, some of the big notables there, you can see obviously the T57 uh, with external rain, uh, throwing up almost 3K. He had a great game there with eight pins. Uh, the other T57, not so much, but if you look down at uh, Wolf Silver, um, he had a great game there. Uh, putting up almost 3k, blocking almost 2,500. Really fine game out of the IS-7. Super Conk with almost 4k damage there by Kinga. Outstanding job. Odin, monster in his uh, E4. 4k plus damage, blocking over 1,000. Really nice game with 4 kills. Truly maybe the MVP of that game. And also King Donkey, really nice game with uh, over 2k in his IS-7. We're moving on to Cliff, I believe, and that will be the pick of B-Wise, and uh, second PD is up 2-zip. Alrighty, GG's. B-Wise won, won that round, right? No, second PD. Is that B-Wise? Yeah, I think second PD took it, yeah. Okay. Just had to yeah. confirm. I had it it was close. I mean, I one thing I liked... It. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I was just saying that I like that B-Wise was a little bit more aggressive on that one. And I think it was starting to pay off for them. It, it, I mean, hats off to second Panzer. Their flank and push through the middle of the square uh, hitting that close flank and then that rear flank is just so effective on that map it's uh, really something to go back and watch if you're really into looking at some really uh, sharp tactics there on Wednesday night fights <laughs> 